Hi everyone, I'm Josh at Balanced Body Rehab, and this is Gabe's Foot. Uh, Gabe and I were talking this morning about how uh, so many people are confused about what type of shoe wear to go with. Should it be really supportive, or should we go more minimalist? So we're here to dispel some of those myths. Okay, one basic thing I want you to know about the body is that the body is full of free motion. And what that means is if we were just to stand on our legs uh, without any muscles firing, our legs would just crumple in. Okay, Gabe showed that. So legs would just crumple in, fall in. That's called pronation. Okay, and pronation gets a bad name, but it's very functional for the foot to have some pronation. It creates a suppleness in the foot to allow it to react to the ground and different surfaces that they're gonna be on. So the way the body controls pronation though is through the muscles. Okay, the biggest muscle that controls pronation is actually the buttocks. The gluteal muscles control pronation most. They're the big shock absorber of the leg. So the gluteal muscles must help fire and gluteal muscles control the pronation. So that can help some. But the other muscles that control pronation are the smaller muscles of the foot called the intrinsics. And there's lots of them, but just know that the smaller muscles of the foot also control that. The muscles that control it most attach right onto the base of the big toe. So what we term it, we call the big toe the kickstand of the foot and the buttocks the shock absorber. Without those two firing, the foot falls in. Okay, a lot of times people over support their foot with orthotics and that acts like a brace for the foot, but essentially all the other muscles get a little weaker in the process. So if people have a good enough foot structure, we, advert, we try to tell people, let's try to strengthen your feet and your glutes and see if, how much we can control that. And then if you can't control it and you're still having pain, then we'll move you into the orthotics or through that acute stage of the pain. So we're gonna show you one basic premise we teach all patients. There's lots of foot exercises you can do, but the biggest thing you need to grab a hold of is the ability to hold your foot structure the way it needs to be. And we call it the tripod foot, okay? So to get into the tripod foot, I'm gonna have Gabe go up on his toes as high as you can. Good, and you see that good arch in Gabe's foot? If you do that at home, you'll notice how good an arch you can have in your foot. Now, Gabe, I want you to hold that arch as much as you can while you lower your heel down to the ground. So he's gonna to try to maintain that arch while he lowers his heel back down to the ground. Good, and then I'm gonna ask him to hold equal pressure on the inside and outside of his foot, the, the metatarsal heads here. Those are the two points here, plus his heel, that's three points, makes a tripod foot. So holding up the arch here, holding those two points, that is an exercise in itself, just when you try to stand on it, maintain that. So you can stand on it, try to maintain it and balance. You can do squats through this, okay? You can do lunges through this, but just try to hold that arch up. And unbeknownst to you, lots of great muscles are firing up the chain because that's the way the foot was made. It's the best way it's made to fire, it's the way it's made to turn on. And if we did more things barefoot, pushing through our toes successfully, all those muscles would naturally turn on better and we would naturally have that better arch in our foot. So that's just the beginning of you know, what's needed, but just wanted to share that and tune into our other videos for further instruction. Hope this helps.